Hi everyone, welcome back to Imperfect Chess Videos. My name is Sean. Hey, I got a request from Hashem asking, um, can you show how I can print my opening repertoire in an organized, easy to read method instead of just printing lines? And uh, it's a great question because I actually really, really struggled with this, trying to find a great way to get a good um, tablet out. Because I knew there was a print repertoire function, which I'll show you here, but I, I didn't want to print it to paper. I wanted um, I wanted something I could use. Let me show you what I was trying to do. I've talked many times on these videos before that I'm working on a repertoire. You can see one repertoire I'm working on here. And I like book form. So I actually, I make them into my own books for me to use. And I, you know, as I've been pimping here, I throw them on uh, on Amazon. So what I wanted to do was I have, you know, this is the, the book, the first book I wrote out. I've got all this like blah, 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 blah. And you can see lines and you can see all this, but I needed an appendix that showed like look, who needs all this stuff here right if you if you're going through a game you want to uh, you're going through your prime moves you need a table and what i wanted was something like this this is what i wanted to get at i wanted to figure out the best way to do this and get it into the digital form as part of my book so this is um i think you need to line up the page numbers and everything so this is i'm going to show you how to do this today here so what we need to do is um go in and you ideally you have a repertoire database set up the way we have here so once again not every line is a game in this case row number two is not a game with person playing white versus person playing black but in fact uh, a repertoire database which means it's a it's a series of lines meant to follow a particular opening in this case the two knights defense and this particular variation if we open this up and we get it here what we can do is we can go print and I've mentioned the print repertoire. Now, I always knew this was here, but I didn't like the look of this. And all this does is allow me to print it to paper. And how, how was I going to get that into something digital? Because I have a tablet, and I wanted to carry this stuff around in a tablet. And uh, I didn't need a bunch of paper. Plus, I didn't, I didn't want this diagram up here. I didn't like, I didn't like the look of it. So playing around, this is what I um, figured out. Many of you probably know this, but it's not always there. But if you go, to, not always that obvious. If you go to the page setup first, you can actually decide from the repertoire tab how you want this set up. So you don't need the diagram there. You can leave the line evaluations in or out, and then any any footnotes to games, you can decide to leave those in or out. You can go uh, line length up to a minimum of ten. And you can add uh, or change the, the, the numbers. So I can go here and click OK. And suddenly when I print repertoire, I'm going to see, hey, look at that. There's no tab and I have a different, you know, a different look to all this. Maybe I don't want this there. I can take it in and out. So let me go back and play some more, which you can even do if you go to the page setup. Is The repertoire tab is for things that only affect the repertoire. But these things here affect other printing and print repertoire as an example um, borders I didn't want a large border but if you're for whatever reason want to look and feel of a larger border we can go in here and do this um, we can make it one column or you can squeeze it into three uh, you can have page numbers or not have page numbers you can have a title on the top and you can even um, go to your fonts and uh, change it up a little bit make it look you know crazy over here once again now if I print repertoire all right this looks different so you can see you can configure this and make this look the way you want to make it look and you can see the three columns are down here and I made it a huge font and there's a little bit of a border around it now which didn't exist before um, so what do we do with this as I said I just I don't want pages with this I want this in a digital format now I'm putting it into a PDF, not a searchable text, so maybe someone has a better way of doing that. And this is the way I've handled it, is when I do print um, repertoire and click print, uh, I don't print it to a printer. I got a third-party product. In my case, I got Image Printer Pro, but there's a, there are dozens of programs out there that you install on your computer and they, they install a printer name and then they redirect your prints rather than going to your printer to go wherever you like. In this case, um, I like this program because I can, I can make it a PDF if I want, or I can make it a bitmap. In theory, I can make it an RTF. That'd be interesting and maybe make searchable text. But uh, in this case, um, I've got the PDF and I can go boom and it's gonna turn that into a PDF, which is what I need. Then 
I can append it to whatever documents I want, and I can read it on my on my tablets, and I can I can make uh, the tables that we'd like. So you're not looking at this stuff all day.